A recent survey showed that a whopping 75% of Canadians say food really matters when picking a travel destination. And if you're among them, you want to sink your teeth into this next segment. So I'm being joined by Kristen Cuvalier this morning of Travelocity. You a, you're a global food trendologist. That sounds like a cool job. And you're going to guide us through the top 10 culinary travel destinations. Good morning to you. Welcome. Thank you. Well, we have a long ways to travel, so let's kick things off right away. Uh, now, how did Travelocity come up with this list? Uh, we wrote the first annual culinary travel trend report. We looked at hot travel destinations, hot food destinations, and the trends that were in those cities. Mm -hmm. And we want to inspire Canadians to travel to these destinations. Yes. Okay, now are we going to start off with number 10? No, we're going to go to number 1 first. Okay, and then we're going to back it up from there. So starting at the top here, where's number 1? Starting at the top, we're going to go to San Francisco Napa Valley. Yes. You want, When you're there, you want to go to the Ferry Building Marketplace. You want to taste from all the vendors. The big culinary travel trend right now is Sriracha Hot sauce. Ah. So in the ferry building, go over and have a chicken dish at the slanted door. We're going to move on to New York City. You know, culinary dreams are made in New, in York, New York City. City. Mm -hmm. And it's all about the biggest, juiciest gourmet burgers you've ever found. Okay. So think about uh, a bison burger on a brioche bun with bourbon bacon jam. Lots of yes, people travel please. to New York City on the weekends, but go on the weekend. It's not as crowded. On the weekdays. Okay. Let's move to San Sebastian, Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, full of tapas bars, little pixto bars. My tip is follow with what the locals are ordering. And right now, the culinary trend is all about foraging. Mm. Seaweed, mushrooms, salts. Oh, fresh local taste. Gorgeous. Let's head to Toronto. Let's. Toronto, home of year-round farmer's markets, great taste, but right now it's a buzz. Mm. Handheld pies, sweet and savory. Okay, delicious. Let's move to Lyon, France. You know, the home of gastronomy. You're going to be there and you're going to find great food, great wine, great culture. Go to the Bernachon Chocolate Factory. Oh, and have some croissants and some pastries. Okay, delicious. What Let's do we have next? Let's move to Seattle. Yes. Oh, fresh ocean breezes. <laughs> um, head down to Pike Place Market. Taste the local taste. My tip, do not leave without a slice of serious pie, a piece of pizza. What is that? Oh, it's the greatest flatbread pizza. But the culinary trend right now is salted caramels. And the best okay. in the world are at Fran's Chocolates in, New in, Sa in Seattle. Okay, wonderful. Let's move over to New Orleans. You know you're in New they Orleans. They like to celebrate in New Orleans. Just a little bit. Yep. You've got powdered sugar on your hands. You've had a beignet from Café du Monde. But craft cocktails are the culinary trend. Mixologists making great homemade craft cocktails. Let's slide over to Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Vancouver, home of sustainable seafood. Right. Feel like a foodie insider. Travel there during spot prawn season. Okay. How about and when is that season? Uh, that's in early spring. Okay, terrific. How about Stockholm, Sweden. The culinary world is a buzz. What's happening in Stockholm? But right now, salt is the new pepper there. So salt's infused with seaweed, citrus, fabulous flavors. Wonderful. Let's head over to Tuscany. You know everyone loves Italian food. Mm -hmm. uh, head out into the countryside. Travelocity.ca has specials on villas turned into inns for $100 a night. And head over to Florence to Trattoria Sostanza where the culinary trend is chicken baked under butter, a food memory. Oh, wonderful. But you know what's so fabulous right now and your viewers have a chance to get in on it. Head over to Travelocity.ca, mm -hmm. take the foodie profile quiz, find out what kind of foodie you are, and enter a contest. Win a trip to one of these ten destinations mm -hmm. and spending money for food. And then you could be digging in for yourself. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You basically took us on a tour of a world here in a matter of a few minutes. Thank you so much, uh, Christine. And where can people find you? Travelocity.ca. Travelocity.ca is where to go and enter in. You could be traveling to one of these destinations. 